This tutorial will show you how to calculate profile roughness in SPIP. This dataset contains five profiles acquired by a stylus profiler. Each profile has a length of approximately 5.5 millimeters. To analyze the roughness, we'll go to the Analyze tab and press the Roughness Analysis button, which will bring up the Roughness Analysis pane. SPIP allows you to calculate the roughness according to various international standards. In this case, we'll choose the ISO 4287 standard. You can expand the filter settings for the selected standard to adjust the Lambda C cutoff wavelength and specify the number of cutoffs to evaluate. With these settings, the evaluation length will be 4 millimeters, which equals the number of cutoffs multiplied by the cutoff wavelength. SPIP will help you comply with the selected standard by showing you dedicated messages in the warning section of the roughness analysis pane. In this case, we'll need to add a Lambda S filter to comply with the standard. The warning disappears when we add a valid noise filter. The manual contains information on how to select a valid filter size. Now you can choose which parameters you want SPIP to calculate for the selected standard. You can choose from a long list of R, W, and P parameters. You can also select which statistics you want SPIP to calculate for each parameter. Finally, you can choose which charts you want SPIP to generate. Now, press Calculate to run the roughness analysis. The selected charts are generated and the selected parameters and statistical results are shown in the Roughness Results pane. In the upper right-hand corner, you will find the evaluation profiles, which have been used for evaluating the roughness. Please note that the four millimeters used for evaluation have been highlighted, and that you can switch between the primary profile, the roughness profile, and the waviness profile. The material curve and the height distribution charts are automatically updated when you switch between the various profile types and when you step through the profiles in your dataset. The selected profile is also highlighted in the results grid. Here, you can select a printer-friendly standard report in Microsoft Word or HTML format. You will find Advanced Batch Processing and Reporting Options on the Automate tab. Thank you for your attention.